you've lived in the Panhandle during the holidays, you've likely heard about the Evelyn Rivers Christmas Project. For decades, Evelyn Rivers McCoy has ensured that children in need get something special for Christmas. That love for helping those kids and families couldn't be contained to just a few months a year. As Megan Collier explains, Evelyn's always working to ensure a sunny future in today's heart of the High Plains. Um, when I met Evelyn, I was living in the Faith City Ministries uh, shelter, and I had been there for about six months, and it was getting close to time for me to leave. And I was stuck in poverty, and I had some addiction to drugs and alcohol, and I was trying to raise my kids, and um, I just fell in a rut. Jaylee Gomez's story is one similar to many that Evelyn Rivers McCoy has heard. They have come through many trials and tribulations. If life were perfect, they would not call us in need of what we had to offer. So they have come through drugs, they've come through addiction, they've come through abuse, they've come through poverty, they have come through homelessness, all the adjectives you don't want anybody to have to do. Already active in helping families during the holidays, Evelyn knew she needed to do more. And we kept, as we were working at the workshop, saying, what can we do so that the people who come to us for Christmas gifts could have a way to sustain themselves. And so you would talk and you would talk and it always came back to one word and the word was education. Okay, so now what do you do with that one word? And so Sunshine Cottage was born. The housing and support community started small, but grew to help multiple families at once. And our objective was take single parent families who are either in poverty or homelessness, come be with us because you have desire and determination to obtain a college degree and get off the government system. Jaylee's story counted as a big success. Well, I have my bachelor's in social work, and I went to AC and got my associates, and went to um, WT and got my bachelor's. And I'm currently working on my master's in social work. So um, Evelyn kind of encouraged me to continue on and to do as much as I could to be able to be successful. And you know, success can be measured in a variety of ways. Evelyn's success is evident by the smiles and the joy that she's brought to so many. And, uh, um, it's not about living day to day. It's about living, looking towards that future. In Amarillo, Megan Collier, KMR Local 4 News. Sunshine Cottage isn't just a place to live. It's truly a place to learn about how to be self-supporting. Families are learned to cook healthy meals, get educational and job support, as even help with gas cards and Christmas gifts. Evelyn says to support a family, it costs an average of $28,000 a year. College officials are always hoping for monetary support to ensure that they can continue to sustain families. For information on how you can help that mission, go to myhighplains.com.